Hey guys, I'm Ashley. Welcome to another episode of Elieska Bushcraft. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more of this awesomeness. Today I'm going to be talking about my own inventive fire kit that I came up with. Okay, so what started this fire kit was um, we were out hiking and he found a piece of chaga and handed it to me. He's like, here, this is great for starting fires. And I just thought, I was like, I really, really need to have a fire kit. Um, doing episodes of the original two or three episodes of teaching my girlfriend how to bushcraft was essentially about firecraft. So I learned basically some of the different materials that, and I also have learned that it's really hard to find dry materials that will easily light. This is, this is all dried out. I let it set before I put it in the bag um, so that when we do go to start fires, even if it's wet, we just have a really much easier time getting stuff started. So first of all, I'll start with these little tiny birch bark papery shavings. These stuff go up really, really easily, really super light, tiny feathery pieces of birch bark. In here also we've got bigger chunks of birch bark, several, actually quite a bit of birch bark. We've got batoned pieces of kindling here. And also I do have a chunk, he got a pretty big piece of chaga, so I have more to replenish this. Every time I use it, I do replenish more. Um, I took a small chunk of this chaga to throw in here if I need it. And also, I do also have feather, feathered wood, feather wood in here somewhere, but I'm not seeing it. I might have actually used it already and forgot to replenish it. But also one other thing that was given to me by a friend are cotton balls soaked in Vaseline. I know this is so primitive and, and so bushcrafty of me to have this, but in case of an emergency, we need to get a fire going like immediately. Vaseline soaked cotton balls will do the trick. As you see, it's in a separate bag so that it keeps everything from getting nasty. Um, but anyway, everything, everything when I go to replenish this, um, all the materials are set out on a shelf to dry for at least a day, sometimes more. And every time I take stuff out of it to start a fire with, I put more back in, except for in the situation of the feathered wood, I don't know how that escaped my time, I mean my attention. But anyway, everything is tucked back in this little fire kit here and sealed. Make sure all the air is out just to keep everything nice and dry and secure. And anyway, that's my fire kit. That's what I came up with that I figured would be nice to have for excursions, especially in the rain. And it just fits right into my little haversack that I carry all my gear in. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. God bless and I'm out.